Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, so today's video is twofold. Um, one is until about 30 minutes ago, I had no idea how to do this because I suck at vectors. The teacher will go, "So, guys, there's this line and there's this line, and we do this and that. Do you see it?" I'm like, "No, I really don't." Um, so yeah, I didn't understand this concept basically because it's kind of tough. Um, and I looked it up on YouTube because there's a lot of smarter guys out there, you know. And guess what? I couldn't find it. I found like one version which involved calculus, which is multivariable, which I cannot do. And there was one version which makes a three-dimensional object to solve it, which is like, dude, you're trying to find a distance. Why are you making an object? Anyway, so I crunched through the textbook explanation, and I got it. So therefore, I will teach it for further generations like me to look it up and be like, oh, what do you know? There is a video out there, you know? Um, and second, I have exams tomorrow, and I want to study. By teaching it, I am studying. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, okay, so we're talking distance between skew lines. Now, let us draw some skew lines, okay? So, skew lines in three-dimensional space, like this, okay? My, I'll mop my my actual forearms, okay? So, uh, what is a good thing? Oh, there we go, this looks good, right? Okay, so what you see, there's a distance right here, okay? Right where they would cross in a two-dimensional plane, there is a distance that is smallest, okay? So now if I can do this, let's see, haha. Okay, so this black marker that is not visible because of my shirt is the shortest small distance. And now if you notice, this black marker is perpendicular to both my hands, okay? Perpendicular to two vectors means cross product, so therefore we have to do a cross product. I have an example right here of the book, which I know the answer to, so hopefully I'll do it right. Anyway, so this is going to represent my two arms that I just had in three-dimensional space, okay? I'm going to draw a line through it, let's say right here, okay? And we're going to say that these are both perpendicular in three-dimensional space, okay? And that's the answer, okay? However, we can't just do that because we do not know at what time this happens. Like, we know the vector goes like this, like this, right? And we have the time going. So, for example, we got a point right here. Okay, we got 1, 1, 3, and we got 2, 1, 0, okay? But they have to move X amount of S's and X amount of T's to be in this spot where they are perpendicular indeed, okay? I'm using S and T because they're two vector times and I'm not assuming that they are the same, okay? Coolio, um, so what we want to do is the vector product, of course, because the vector product gives you the perpendicular, um, the perpendicular vector to both these vectors, so this guy, okay? So this is going to be V cross W. Now, if you don't know what V cross W, cross product, vector product, perpendicular to two vectors means, please don't further watch this video. Watch a video that explains vector product because that's a whole lesson by itself. And I don't, I don't know. I'll do that maybe, but I feel like a lot of better guys have done this, and no one has done this, pioneering some math in a way. Whew. Okay. So, basically... If we now take, if we now take a distance, um, not these points, we need to take um, any points. Let's say there's a point A, and let's say there is a point B. Oh, there is a point B. Okay, point A is one minus t, comma one plus t, comma three minus t. Okay, that's a point. And point B is 2 plus S, comma 1 minus 2S, comma S. Okay? If we have the line going from A to B, okay, that is not the shortest distance, but it is a distance, okay? Or it is a distance we can do because doing this vector, AB, means we subtract B from A, which we cannot, which we can really simply do. Now, if you look at these, this is the answer, and we don't have the time. This is not the answer, but we have the time. So we can work off of both of these to get the answer. Okay. So basically what we're saying is, vector AB 
okay, is some constant times uh, uh, times the vector product of v and w. All right. Now the reason being for this is. Look at this. In even in two-dimensional space, you can see A, B is a rough estimate. It's like just, look, here's, here's, a, um, point, uh, here's a line between these two vectors. It is probably not the shortest one, but it's a good guess. Okay, And we, I can actually tell you at what point in time these are going to happen. So uh, basically, this times divided by some scalar constant is going to give me the right answer. This is a sum scalar constant. See, AB divided by the K gives you the vector product. K times the vector product gives me AB. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, so step one, vector product. Now, again, I'm not going to explain how it's done. Okay, um, hopefully you can do it by now. Or uh, learn it somewhere else, I guess. If you really want me to teach it, please let me know. I'll make a video in like five minutes. Uh, but again, there's better guys out there. So now, uh, vector product i, j, k, because I'm never serious. Um, again, we use, of course, the uh, displacement vectors. We got negative 1, 1, negative 1, and we got 1, negative 2, and 1. Okay. Uh, let's do some math. Okay. Um, 1, minus 2. Negative, uh, negative 1 plus 1 comma uh, 2 minus 1. Okay, so therefore a vector product is negative 1 comma 0 comma 1. Or actually that would be these kind of guys. Okay, so that is V uh, cross X. Now I'm going to erase some stuff. I'm going to erase the work actually just for this. Um, negative 1, 0, 1. Okay? So now we're saying that this times a k equals a b. So therefore we must find a b, okay? So a b equals from A to B. So 1 minus T, 1 plus T, 3 minus T, or uh, minus, minus, minus. I don't want to make a mistake, so I'm going to put ample parentheses. Uh, 2 plus S, 1 minus 2S, and S. Okay? So, furthermore, let's actually write it down here so we have like a section of info, info section, if you will. Uh, we got negative 1 minus t uh, minus s, OK? Um, 1, actually, uh, 0. t uh, plus 2s, um, 3 minus t minus s. Let me see if I did that correct. Minus 1 minus 1 minus s, t, uh -huh. and Okay, so that is the vector. So now, um, let me erase the work over here, because that will actually need a lot of workspace right now. Let me erase this too, just in case. Okay, so basically now we have to say that AB is negative 1, negative T, negative S, T plus 2S, 3 minus T minus S equals, equals, equals negative 1, 0, 1 times k. Therefore, it becomes negative k, 0, and k. Now, at this point, you're probably like, holy crap, this is going on forever. Trust me, I know. This is really hard. Watch the video twice if you have to, right? Um, okay, so now, you just want to solve for S and T. This is a, the k's are variables, but they don't matter. Try to eliminate these. Okay, so you got negative k and k. These are going to cancel right ahead. Zero is already gone, so you can use those, for example. Okay, so uh, let's we use row two. T plus two s equals zero, and 
R1 plus R3. Uh, 2 minus 2S minus 2R minus 2T minus 2S equals 0. Now, uh, okay, so now we have T plus 2S equals 0, and we got negative 2T minus 2S equals negative 2. Now, if you eliminate the 2s, we got negative t equals uh, negative 2, therefore t equals negative, or uh, equals 2. Alright? Now, here is the one important part, okay? Very important. I actually don't quite know why. If you know, and if you're smart, please comment. I want to learn. At that point, I probably won't care as much anymore, but listen. We are going from A to B, which means we're subtracting W from B, which means we're subtracting S from T, okay? Because of this very critical fact, we are using T and not S. We could solve for S. It would be 1, I believe, or negative 1. But we are using T because we're going A, B. Now, if we're going B, A, we would have to use S, I'm pretty sure, okay? So, just listen. I'm a student myself, I'm not too sure about this. Because it's AB, we're subtracting S from T, we're subtracting W from B, we use T, okay? So T, we plug in now, okay? We are taking the magnitude. So, therefore, magnitude of this, all right? So, therefore, negative, uh, it's K. So, where'd my K's go? They disappeared. Um, well, this is negative k and this is k, okay? So that's what we have to do. So we plug that in here. So therefore we get 2 squared, so um, basically b cross w vector magnitude equals square root 2 squared plus 0 squared plus negative 2 squared. We get uh, 4 plus 4 plus 0 square root, square root of 8. Um, and that is the answer, okay? I know it's really long, and I can't really organize it myself yet either because I don't see it yet. I have memorized the steps right now. But square root of 8 is the answer. We use T, okay? Just watch it again if you don't get it. Thank you guys for watching. This is Mike. Uh, peace.